Hey everybody, uh, my name is Greg, I'm with Valkyrie Combat and uh, we specialize in firearms customization. We're going to talk specifically about the Glock for a little bit today, but uh, as you can see in front of me I have some of, uh, a few examples of the work that we do. Um, we're a Cerakote applicator and we also can do machining and milling and grip work and things like that. The Glock platform is, is just such an amazing platform. I mean, most people who own firearms, they own at least one Glock in their collection. Uh, the vast majority of law enforcement in the world is trans transitioned over to the Glock platform. And simply, it's because of the reliability and the functionality of this weapon. Um, it goes bang every time you pull the trigger, which is the most important factor for a firearm to have. So, as you can see in front of me, we have a number of firearms that we've customized. This is one of our Valkyrie package Glocks that has all the modifications done to it. Um, these were designed with feedback from and in direct conjunction with law enforcement, military professionals who use firearms in the daily course of their lives. So we went to them a few years ago to find out what they wanted to see on their, their uh, sidearms, and this is the end result of those discussions. So all of the modifications, with the exception of the paint job, are all combat oriented. So these are all features that are designed to enhance the functionality without detracting from the reliability of the weapon, because that's kind of a slippery slope. You can customize a Glock too much in uh, the, the fashion of a competition firearm, for example, where you can start replacing so many things that the functionality of it when it works is fantastic. However, you're detracting from the reliability. There's some phenomenal aftermarket trigger kits that you can put inside Glocks. There's also some not so good ones that you can put in there that can reduce the safety and the functionality of the weapon. So you do have to be careful when you start going into the internals of the weapon and replacing things. You wanna be sure to do your research and make sure that the parts that you're putting in there are gonna interact with the weapon in a way that doesn't detract from the three internal safeties and it doesn't take away from any of the functionality. So. On this particular Glock that I'm holding, the only work that we've done on the internals is what's known commonly as the 25 cent trigger job, which is basically just a high buff and polish that's applied to all of the important internal parts. This is something you can definitely do on your own at home. There are, I've seen hundreds of videos on YouTube that will in five minutes very quickly and effectively tell you how to do one of these trigger jobs. So it's something you can research and you can do very quickly at home with a Dremel um, and some polishing compound and things like that. So for, for a couple bucks you can get all that you need to be able to do that trigger job. And the result is a much crisper and cleaner trigger break and reset. Um, you can also replace the connector. Glock makes a three and a half pound connector to swap out with a factory connector that will reduce the poundage on the pull of the trigger, which is also a very, very simple, very, very cost effective measure that you can take to, to change how this Glock feels and how it fires. And I think you can get connectors, uh, you know, for a couple bucks, five, six bucks, you can find a, a connector online. Um, some of the more intricate custom work that we've performed on this is uh, the grip work. We've done some great reductions on the front strap and the back strap, increased the trigger undercut underneath right here. So what you're left with is a grip angle that's actually a lot more reminiscent of a 1911 than it is of a stock Glock because you remove uh, the dreaded whale hump on the back of this that everybody seems to hate. That increase of the trigger undercut right there, that does a few things, the most important of which is it reduces what's known as Glock finger. And those of you who fired stock Glocks are probably very, very familiar with this. You get that rubbed raw feeling on your middle finger for, from prolonged shooting at the range with your Glock. So this greatly reduces that just by changing the angle that uh, your finger interacts with the frame. Um, when we move on to the slide, we've increased the racking serrations. On a stock Glock, there are seven racking serrations on the back of the weapon, on both sides. And the purpose of those serrations is to aid in manipulating the weapon. So whether it's uh, remedying a malfunction or simply a reload where you need to rack the slide, those give you positive traction so that you can easily manipulate the slide. And that's a fantastic theory. We've increased the racking serrations to the entire length of the slide on both the top and the sides because there's nothing that says that in a stressful situation your hand is going to interact exactly with those seven serrations. So what we've done is we've added those serrations to the entire thing. So no matter where your hand interacts with this thing, um, it's going to get positive tracking. And what we've found is that these serrations on the top are so uh, significant, you can actually rack off of clothing with them 
um, which is a tremendous benefit in one-handed situations. So if your, your support hand is injured or you're using it to manipulate something and you have to do some sort of uh, malfunction remediation on the weapon, there's, there, there's a high likelihood that you would have to do all the modifications that you normally do with both hands, you'd now have to figure out a way to do with one hand. So having little things like this give you a pretty large um, benefit in, in potentially a combative situation. So if you want to learn more about the modifications that we make, you can go to our, our uh, website, ValkyrieCombat.com. It talks about all of the features that are, that are contained in here uh, on this package. They include everything from customized mags to frames and slides and things like that. But at the end of the day, it's still a Glock. It's still a Glock and it does what a Glock is supposed to do, which is go bang every time you need it to go bang. So if you have any questions, don't hesitate to reach out to us here at Valkyrie Combat. Um, we look forward to working on your weapon or working with you on one of these projects. And uh, thank you so much for, for tuning in and, and hearing what I have to say today. And uh, we'll see you out at the range. Thank you.